Moin! So, do you want to learn how to speak Luxembourgish more confidently and more fluently in your day-to-day -day life? Then, let's do some verb exercise today. Today you will learn in four easy steps how to say I remember in Luxembourgish. And there are two different ways to say this. The first way to say I remember in Luxembourgish is Ich erinnere mich un. Oh, now I hear you thinking, what did she say? So yes, it needs practice to pronounce it correctly and to understand the easy grammar rule. But don't worry, we will practice the pronunciation, cover the usage of the verb step by step, and you will learn another way to say I remember in Luxembourgish. So that after the lesson, you will feel 100% confident using I remember in conversations. Bas du prat? Dann lass. Of course, we will start with step number one and practice the correct pronunciation of the verb remember, which is erinnern. Now listen and repeat after me. Erinnern. One more time. Erinnern. You got it? Erinnern. Step number two. To say I remember is ich erinnere mich. Ich erinnere Mush. Let's repeat it one more time. Ich erinnere mich. So here we use the reflexive form of the verb sich erinnern. So literally it would be I remember myself. On. But don't translate it literally. Remember that in Luxembourg we say Ich erinnere mich. Ich erinnere mich. Did you notice that the verb is pronounced erinnern, sich erinnern, with a final N? And to say I remember, ich erinnere mich. So you hear that we drop the final N of erinnern. Donc, ich erinnere mich. Well, here comes the N rule into play. In Luxembourgish we have an N rule and uh, if you are not familiar with this rule, you can head over after this podcast to my blog on my webpage and uh, look for the lesson called All About the N Rule. Let's move on with step number three. You will need a preposition to express what, what you remember, so an object. And the preposition is un, un. So we will have, ich erinnere mich un. Let's repeat, ich erinnere mich un. So this is very important, don't forget the preposition. And then at the end, we will add the object, so what you remember. And this leads us to step number four. So to say I remember you is in Luxembourgish. Ich erinnere mich un dich. Dich here is the informal form of you. And we will repeat. Ich erinnere mich un dich. And if you want to use the formal form of you, you would say. Ich erinnere mich un ich. Ich erinnere mich un ich. So I remember you informal. Ich erinnere mich un dich. And formal. Ich erinnere mich un ich. So here we have a grammar rule. You have noticed that after the preposition un, we use the accusative case. Therefore, we don't say ich erinnere mich un du. No, ich erinnere mich un dich. Okay. Now over to you. How would you say, knowing that after un comes the accusative case, I remember your friend? Hopefully you've said, Ich erinnere mich un dei friend. Yes? Donc, ich erinnere mich un dei friend. And another sentence, how would you say, I remember the movie? It's easy. Ich erinnere mich an den Film. Ich erinnere mich an den Film. Good. Now let's practice to ask the question to someone. Do you remember? So do you remember in an informal situation is 
Erinnerst du dich an? So listen carefully and repeat after me. Erinnerst du dich an? Okay, so here we have to conjugate the verb erinnern with the second person singular. Don't du, du erinnerst dich. And the question, erinnerst du dich an? Mm -hmm. And then you can answer, ja, ich erinnere mich an dich, for example. Or if you don't remember someone, you can say, nee, ich erinnere mich nicht an dich. Okay, or nee, ich erinnere mich nicht an den Film. Okay, so the question, erinnerst du dich an? And the formal form would be, erinnert dir ich an? Okay, good. At the beginning of the episode, I told you that there are two different ways for remember in Luxembourgish. There is another way to ask someone, do you remember? And this is, weißt du, or better, weißt du nach? Weißt du nach? Weißt du nach? Zum Beispiel, weißt du nach, wo wir also Kanapé gekauft haben? Do you remember where we bought our couch? Let's repeat. Weißt du nach, wo wir also Kanapé gekauft haben? So literally, this means, do you still know? So this, weißt du nach, do you still know? But again, don't translate literally. If you don't remember, then you can answer like this. Nee, ich weiß nicht mehr. So let's ask the question again. Weißt du nach, wo mir also Kanapé gekauft haben? Nee, ich weiß nicht mehr. This means, no, I don't remember anymore. Ich weiß nicht mehr. Okay? Doch weiß is the conjugated form of the verb wissen. Wissen, which literally means to know something. But we also use it very often to remember or when you don't remember something. Let's practice with another example. How would you ask someone, do you still remember what we cooked last Sunday? So you have learned, do you still remember is, weißt du nach? And what we cooked last Sunday is, wat mir lechte Sonntag gekocht hun. So let's repeat the whole sentence. Weißt du nach, wat mir lechte Sonntag gekocht hun? And if you don't remember, you just say, nee, ich weiß nicht mehr. Nee, ich weiß nicht mehr. No, I don't remember anymore. Or you can say, nee, ich weiß das nicht mehr. And the last example, how would you say, do you still know when your parents are coming to Luxembourg? So do you still know is, weißt du nach? And when your parents are coming to Luxembourg is, wenn nie den Eltern ob Lützeburg kommen. So let's repeat the whole question. Weißt du nach, wenn nie den Eltern ob Lützeburg kommen? Learn now a last sentence which might be very useful for you. For example, if you want to say, I don't remember how to say this in Luxembourgish, you will say, Ich weiß nicht mehr, wen dat ob Lützeburgisch seht. So, I don't remember or I don't remember anymore is, Ich weiß nicht mehr. And how to say this in Luxembourgish is wei in dat op Lützeburgisch seht. Here the verb comes at the end of the sentence. Okay, let's repeat the whole sentence. Ich weiß nicht mehr, wei in dat op Lützeburgisch seht. Now try to remember this sentence, which is quite useful. Let's summarize now what you have learned in this episode. So. Tell me, how would you say, I remember the movie? Yes, this is, ich erinnere mich an den Film. Doch ich erinnere mich an. And how would you ask the question to someone, um, do you remember the movie? Yes, this is, erinnerst du dich an den Film? Okay. And then you have learned that you can also ask someone, do you remember, do you still remember, followed by where, what, 
when and so on. You have learned, for example, how to say, do you still remember where we bought our couch? This was, weißt du noch, wo mir eine Kanapé kauft hun? Okay, so whenever you want to ask someone, do you remember where, what, when, then you use the weißt du noch. Let's finish this episode with uh, two sentences for you to translate. Basto prat? Dann lass. So the first phrase I want you to translate is Do you remember our last vacation? It's easy. Erinnerst du dich an eine Vakanz? Good. And the second phrase, how would you say I don't remember where this Italian restaurant is. Hopefully you've got Ich weiß nicht mehr, wo das ein italienische Restaurant ist. Okay, ich weiß nicht mehr, wo das italienische Restaurant ist. Now you can be proud of what you have learned today in just 10 minutes. And don't hesitate to listen again and again to this podcast to better memorize what you have learned. So, ich so ein Adi, bis nächste Woche. So I say bye until next week.